Welcome back to XKO. I'm Scott Groff with Antonio Perkins. As Antonio, we are about to find and see our featured fight of the night. J.J. Holmes taking on J.J. Sanchez. This fight has been brewing for quite some time. We are going to see it go down here at the XKO Arena. So basically, we have the four J's. Absolutely. JJ, absolutely. JJ versus JJ. And uh, we're going to see what's going to go down here with JJ Sanchez making his way to the cage. And I believe this is his first time at XKO. Yeah, uh, JJ is 1 0, 5 foot 11, weighed in at 181 pounds. So he was four pounds underweight of the 185 pound division. And uh, he is from Texas Elite MMA. My name's JJ Sanchez, uh, from Lake Dallas, Texas. I'm a big MMA fan. I've always have been since it started. The game plan is just to stay standing, uh, defend that takedown, because he's really explosive on a takedown, and uh, I know he's got good wrestling skills, and uh, just keep it standing and try to just push a pace. I'm actually just, uh, I like the sport, I like the competition. I like going through people and just fighting them to see where I stand. And uh, eventually, you know, I'd like to be a champion and had the 185 belt. All right, uh, Antonio, coming out next, J.J. Holmes. And I tell you what, at two and one, six foot tall, 185 pounds, J.J. Holmes is one bad man. Absolutely, you know, I've watched one of his fights. He had literally took his opponent from one side of the cage, in the air, body slammed him, and basically the fight was over. This guy is pure strength intimidation. Yeah, JJ, one of the better grapplers in the state of Texas, formal national champion in wrestling, and uh, trains out of uh, uh, Moeller's Jiu Jitsu uh, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You know, JJ Sanchez actually wanted to fight JJ Holmes just really to help him develop his fighting game, and what better than an opponent than JJ Holmes to face? Well, I tell you what, be careful what you wish for. You're absolutely right about that. This fight game can turn on a drop of a dime. Let's hear about Mr. J.J. Holmes. Uh, my name is J.J. Holmes. Uh, I fight out of Muller Mixed Martial Arts, uh, the gym in Arlington. And uh, um, my background is uh, BJJ, uh, wrestling, and a little bit of Muay Thai and boxing. So, um, Well, uh, like they say in wrestling is, uh, you know, wrestling, you can control where the fight goes, whether it's on the ground or if you want to keep it standing. So uh, a lot of guys... Um, fear my wrestling as well as with my BJJ now. So it's uh, if I get them on the ground, it's they 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 wouldn't be so worried about being on the ground, but they're on the ground again with the experienced wrestler and an experienced BJJ guy. So um, I think that makes it really dangerous for someone to pick a fight. I wouldn't fight me, you know. I would <laughs> I would I would look for some somebody else, you know. I think uh, we'll go in, you know, square up a little bit, you know, maybe feel each other out, and then. It's going to be like uh, take down, really, and then it's going to be on the ground probably for until I finish him, you know. If he stands back up, then we'll bang some more and get him back on the ground. I, uh, there's no way to put it, but, you know, going to get that W. Uh, I'm pretty pumped up, you know. Um, uh, I didn't do so well in my last fight, and I'm ready to redeem myself, you know. Got my mojo back, so. You know, I'd like to thank uh, XKO for having me here once. Once again, I like fighting for you guys. Uh, I like to thank my coaches, my training partners, uh, Moeller, the gym, uh, Team Takedown, Cobra Kai. Um, I want to thank my manager, Chris, uh, my buddy Rocky, uh, Yums, uh, Pat's Blue Ribbon, um, um, Dropbox. Uh, there's probably some more I probably forgot, but who, you know, uh, thank you guys. Joe Bronson, Kyle Couch. Um, and a few other guys, so I don't know. There's there's a lot of people, friends, family, you know, just the support. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is in the 155 pound weight division. It will have three three minute rounds and is sponsored by Boston's in Arlington, the official caterer of XKO. Your referee in charge of this contest is Aladdin Martinez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner. He's trained in jiu-jitsu and holds a professional fight record of one win, zero losses. He stands 5 feet 11, weighed in at 181 pounds, representing Kurt Gibson, Texas, 
and Texas Elite MMA from Lake Dallas, Texas, JJ the Eliminator. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter and holds a professional fight record of two wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. Representing Molars MMA from Dallas, Texas, JJ, 2-2 two, two Pretty. Antonio, here we go. Let's get ready to touch the gloves and hear the announcement. We went over the rules. Touch gloves is making official corner corners. Hey, and I want to point, Antonio, real quick, I want to point something out. The gloves that we're wearing, ultra-violent gloves, in the ultra-violent arena, just some of the greatest MMA apparel out there. And those are cool gloves. Looks like, uh, looks like uh, bones in your hand, like a skeleton. They're fantastic. I couldn't agree with you more. Here we are, touching gloves, Featured fight of the night, J.J. Holmes in the white Valley Tudo and J.J. Sanchez in the black and white. Oh, and coming out straight away, uh, J.J. Holmes fighting Southpaw and J.J. Sanchez fighting the Orthodox. And uh, Holmes. Looked like he took a knee, looked like he took some punishment there to the chin, but yeah, he's I back think, in I the fight. He, I think he just slipped. Yeah, that does happen, and people do mistake a knockdown for a... Uh, for a slip in the yeah, state. Yeah, from, 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 yeah, from time to time. And as you can see in that duck, and that might have been it there, uh, J.J. Holmes is such a fantastic wrestler. I mean, you immediately know this. he wants this thing on the ground. You know, for me, 185, you know, both these fighters are right on their feet, and here they come bringing it. And, and you know, J.J. Sanchez has great, quick, strong hands, and he is ready to uh, definitely take down Holmes in this fight. And he's doing the right thing. He's keeping his movement with his feet side to side, a little forward, backward, not giving Holmes something that he can just pinpoint in on, uh, shoot in and slam him. And uh, Holmes, JJ, again, there you go. Use those punches to kind of wade in there where he can get the tie up. He's got double underhooks. And uh, look at this, look at this. Holmes on the ground. See some force in the little ground and pound here. He's got an over and under uh, control in the wrist on the one hand, and he's going to go ahead and let Sanchez apparently stand up. Nope, he's going to trip him back down. And this comes back to J.J. Holmes' wrestling background. You know, J.J. Sanchez seems to be one of those fighters that he anticipates uh, some takedown, he anticipates some abuse, and he's ready to react and say, I'm going to bring it right back to you. I'm going to counter what you bring to me. Yeah, and I tell you what, I, I've seen I've seen J.J. Holmes many a time in uh, grappling competitions. Whoa, and Sanchez. What a knee, and that wow, is a wow, cut wow, above J.J. Holmes' head. Man, I tell you what, what a shot. I mean, split him open right away. Uh, and, and that's one of the things you got to worry about as a, as a wrestler, as a, somebody who likes to shoot in, as Holmes is throwing some what a bad cut. Look at the blood. Just Boy, the blood is, blood is all over the XKO arena. And uh, he's still fighting. But but uh, not only fighting, he's scoring. I mean, he's throwing some heavy leather. Uh, great ground and pound. But man, he is bleeding. And, and I hate to use the phrase, but like a stuck pig. I and mean, look at how much blood is being exerted by J.J. Holmes. Oh, I mean, that's, you just see it oh, wow, pouring that. out of his head. And he does not seem to be phased by it, and I think no, that, yeah, listen, that's a good call by the ref to check this guy out. Yeah, here. we need to get the doctor in here because this thing is a huge gash. And here we are, back from commercial at XKO. Scott, what did we just witness in round one between J.J. Sanchez and J.J. Holmes? Well, I got, I, I got to say right now, uh, the doctor, has just shook, he just shook his head. Two minutes, 33 seconds of the first round, and this fight has been called one of the bigger, nastier cuts I've seen in quite some time in MMA. And J.J. Holmes, the recipient of what appears to be a really, really well-timed and incredibly nasty knee by J.J. Sanchez. It's time we fight. Antonio, I mean, here, here, you, here you're looking at... Uh, what J.J. Holmes wanted to do. He wanted to take Sanchez to the ground, goes down onto his knee to shoot in. And, uh, you know, earlier in the fight, this is uh, right here, uh, this is where Sanchez had gotten out of it. And we're getting ready to see the shot where Holmes right here shoots in and you can see 
Holmes' head was down and Sanchez is, again, the knee. Boom. Straight up the middle, up the gap, and, and catches. Oh, man, Sanchez caught Holmes in a just a brutal way. And I think J.J. Holmes, at that point, Antonio knew, hey, I've been cut, I've been cut bad. I need to finish this and begin an onslaught of ground and pound. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, two minutes, 33 seconds into round one by TKO, JJ, the Eliminator, Sanchez. Here we are live with JJ house tonight you got your victory with a flying knee you cut your opponent open I mean what's your thoughts on the fight right now I'm just happy to get it over with uh, JJ was a strong cat his, his hits were very hard uh, I just uh, been thinking about that knee and dreaming and knowing he shoots in a lot and uh, I just got lucky you know you pretty much you just uh, got in a fight with one of the most feared fighters here at XKO JJ Holmes much respect to him and to yourself. Definitely a, uh, a fight that we all wanted to see. Did you want to see it go to another round if the doctor would have approved it? I think the fans want to see it go one more round. And they deserve to get what they want. You know, right now, this is the 185 pound class and everybody needs to understand that you guys are heavy hitting brawlers. So what's next for you, JJ? I'm gonna go home and uh, rest and uh, just keep training until XKO lets me know what they want me to do. Right now, guys, you're watching JJ Sanchez on TXA 21.